Hi everybody, so here I'm back again with another video. It's truly a miracle, but yeah, uh, here's another one. This is a contest entry for Danielle Brown uh, here on YouTube. I will uh, put a link uh, to her down below. So here I'm showing you what I'm going to be using or what I think I'm going to be using. Some branding strips, this is some washi tape. The thin ones are from Amy Tangerine. Then an October afternoon one, and these are some random ones. I don't really know where I got them from. So uh, here are some letters which I don't use at all, but yeah. And uh, I'm gonna use this love one from uh, Amy Tangerine Plus One collection. Here are, are some papers I pulled. The uh, challenge was to use mint yellow and pink so i put some uh, i pulled some random uh, papers in those colors and also some embellishments and other stuff which uh, matched uh, in those colors this is a little tray which holds some cute embellishments in the colors and this is the photo I'm going to use. It's um, a photo of my washi tapes. Uh, this is a background paper, I believe, uh, from Cape Great Paper Style Board. And I have this vellum I've been hoarding for a really long time but never used, so I really wanted to use it. I think about uh, using this cloud paper, but mm, didn't really like it. So I'm going for this diagonal stripe, which I really, really love. This is a trans transparency from a polka dot party from Dear Lizzie, but in the end, I'm not uh, using it. So again, putting the vellum on some background paper to see what I'm gonna use I really like this this video is shot in real time because I um, had some technical problems with my camera and my laptop I have old equipment and it doesn't really work all that well anymore so I had to yeah do some adjustments so this is in real time but I cut most of the excess stuff off, so you don't have to see me everything. But it's pretty much... Um, I, I didn't cut much out this. So I think I uh, completed the layout in like an hour or something. So I'm going to use this uh, yellow polka dot uh, paper to, as a mat for my photo. And I'm going to overlay it with some vellum. So I'm going to cut that out. And I just use the paper as a guide for where I have to cut. Yeah, so doing that now. Cutting. Lining it up. And it's my first time using vellum. And I really want to use vellum, but I I think it's a bit hard to use it, so that's why I haven't used it that much, I think. But I managed to use it on this layout, so I'm very happy. I, I do use a lot of uh, pre-made vellum embellishments uh, which I get in packs and stuff but uh, not from a big piece. Now I'm choosing a stamp to use with some embossing powder and I had some mint color but I thought it was too harsh so I go for this uh, neon pink one. I think about using this stamp but um, I really wasn't <laughs> uh, 
I didn't want to stamp it over and over again. I wanted something easier, so I go for the reverse stamp you see here with the uh, crosses on it. It's from oh god, the uh, glitz designs. They have I have a few of these. I like them very much. I don't use them that often, but I like them. So I uh, take some first mark and I. Uh, uh, use it. Uh, I use the stamp to create a border around vellum, so you see it behind my photo, and you'll see that in a minute. So I use that embossing powder, and I'm gonna pour it over. And it's also my first time embossing vellum, so I was really <laughs> curious to see. Um, how it worked, but it worked out pretty good. I don't have a like a, a anti static, uh, or I didn't use something anti static, but I was, um, yeah, it wa I was surprised to see that it didn't stick all over the paper. Tipping it off, yeah, so putting that back in the container. And I will show you which embossing powder I used. It's the Zing embossing powder and it says neon red or red neon. It's a bright pink, but okay. <laughs> Here I emboss it already and I'm waving it a bit to cool it off. It looks like a f kind of funny right now, but I'm putting my photo over it like so. I'm just arranging it to see how it would look nice on the layout. I wanted to show some of the yellow, but not too much. Having a drink. I could have cut that out. I forgot. So, but you have to drink. It's very important. Stay hydrated. Now I'm using those um, branding st uh, strips. Put underneath um, the diagonal one is from Polka Dot Party, I believe. Oh no, oh no, Fifth and Frolic from Dear Lizzie. This is from the plus one, just a gray stripe uh, fabric strip, and the uh, pink one I don't know where it's from anymore. This is a tie cut piece. I'm grabbing a tray and looking for something I could use on my layout and this is a transparency piece it says, which says I'm a fan I'm not going to use it in the end but I like how it looks and I wanted a bigger piece to put beneath the arrow you see there on the right the small arrow it's a um, transparent uh, see type of uh, stuff and it's mint colored and it's uh, you, you can't really see it that good on the background so I wanted to put something beneath it so you can see it better so I'm cutting the strip and this a leaf Maggie Holmes I don't know if you want to know um, what anything is or where it's from or something, please let me know and I will uh, do my best to uh, look it up for you. I don't really, I'm not really um, brand uh, minded, so I don't really uh, pay attention to uh, what I use. I just choose what I like and then um, use it. I tend to you buy uh, a lot of Studio Calico uh, products and also uh, Dear Lizzie and the Image and Dream, but that's just because I like their uh, designs. Mm. 
looking for some um, embellishments and I have this old card um, it says washi tape and it has really cute stars on it it, ho it held um, two uh, rolls of washi tape so I'm looking where to place it I like it there but I'm going for the right to make a little cluster with the die cut and the transparency uh, there fussy I'm a little bit fussy with the placements because I like to see how it would look in the end because I like to wait well, with uh, placing it down with uh, glue till the very end till I'm satisfied here is the piece of I'm gonna use for the to use on the die cut it's um, it says awesome and this is a uh, turquoise colored and I'm looking around no we needed some more yellow because the challenge was was to use uh, yellow on uh, yellow mint and green uh, no mint yellow mint and pink <sighs> all your layout so I didn't have much yellow so I added some yellow there with the fabric of the, the manufacturer strip oh, man I'm really struggling with the uh, English uh, but that's okay I think I'm going to do a video in Dutch uh, sometime that's much easier for me but that's okay so um, I decide that I like uh, the picture how it is I'm trying to um, line up the yellow paper and the photo so that they're straight and the vellum is a bit off because I uh, wanted it to be a little bit off and I want to show a little bit of yellow at the bottom so I'm trying to place it how I like it and that's how it's gonna be so you see a little bit of yellow on the bottom then the vellum and my photo I'm looking to see if the word fits or where I have to place my photo to get the word to fit and I want to uh, have it overlap a bit, a bit with, my, uh, with my photo so I think I'm going to um, like this so I'm putting the strips down so they won't move around as much anymore I'm bringing the yellow bit up because I wanted to well, I didn't want two pinks together so the hard paper then the and this also is a, a, a fifth and frolic uh, manufacturer strip I had some glue on the end there so I had to cut that off didn't look very nice Oh, sorry if you heard that noise that was my cat <laughs> I'm looking where to place the strip so that I have enough room for my um, arrow and I put it there also to break up the yellow and the pink then the other strip and I'm going to see if the photo and the strip still work and I like um, breaking the lines so I don't like gaps in between two pieces so I always try to um, fill in gaps with, um, with the paper or something here I get a little glue on my uh, layout and I get a little bit of in a panic but I managed to get it off those uh, print um, glues are really sticky and once you get it on 
we don't get enough anymore. Putting the last strap down underneath. I really like the scallops on this, and I like how it's a full strip because the crepe paper ones have the their logo on the end. So that's a shame. You can't use it on a whole on a whole layout. Fussying around a bit with the stuff there on the side. And of course this is a layout about washi and I hadn't used washi at all. So I decided it was kind of necessary to use it. And I really love using it so uh, I really love washi, washi tape. I use it to decorate my planner and uh, for gifts and just as you can see I have um, all my washi tapes on the on my uh, cutting mat I just like uh, the feel of it and how it looks in the colors so I'm making a cluster which I do a lot um, most of the time I used two or three um, washi tapes the pink one with the white dots is from Hema that's a Dutch store and they sell washi tape which is awesome the small mint one is also from Hema and I think the one on the top with the cubes the I don't know how the shape is called in uh, English is with men, mint, yellow and pink so it's perfect and that one is from Prima and now I'm looking to see what to use on top because with a washi tape cluster I, I always, I, not always, but I like to use um, small embellishments on top so I didn't want to use gold because if I use gold I want to use it more on the layout and I wanted to keep it all pink, yellow and mint so no gold this time I think I pulled out everything and anything in the tray, but didn't seem to find anything I like. So I just go to the die cut piece and work the cluster out later. And use my staple uh, machine to. Uh, staple it down just because you know just to adhere it to one another you won't see the staple in the end and that's uh, my version of a tiny attacher I bought it at uh, Staples they are exactly the same staples at, uh, as uh, a tiny attacher has so With, together with my photo, photo I um, see where to place it. And it's going right there. So, yeah. Now I'm struggling to staple down the uh, arrow. But in the end, uh, it uh, it works out. It was a bit of a of a battle with the staple, uh, with the arrow and staple. So yeah, hooray! I got it down. Now I'm putting down my photo, I believe, or oh yeah, mm, first putting down some more washi on the top left again um, this is what I do a lot uh, I use the same 
base washi tape so that's this pink one it's the same as on the bottom but um, I'm going to use other ones on top so I'm using the October afternoon one it's from the daily flash collection and it has yellow kind of an orange color on it and uh, mint and pink so the colors work perfect and for my third uh, third I'm going to use this very thin one from Amy Tangerine and it has very small plus signs on it in white and it just adds a small accent there I really like not to um, not to have even strips of washi so I have one larger than the other now back again to the bottom right and I'm taking some wood from here and these are from Freckle Fun I believe the ones with the bubbles and the words in them and the one this one is from Studio Calico and I believe I'm going to use this one which has a snapshot yeah and then I try to use some wood veneer on top but it was it, it was too uh, similar with the bottom so I didn't really like that but I try and the uh, clouds are also from Studio Calico I believe I really like wood veneer. I like to paint it or emboss it, but I also use it um, just like just plain like this. Now I'm putting the photo down finally. Yes. I'm happy. I was thinking about putting some washi tape beneath it, but I decided not to, so I could I put my photo down. Yes. And I'm now I'm going to use some washi on top. Again, the pink to make a kind of a diagonal line from the top left to the bottom right. Bit like I uh, put it down, I taped it down with the washi on the on the background. Wanted to go for that look, and this is also a thin uh, round from Amy Tangerine. It has very small clouds on it. And I, mm, the larger wood veneer pieces, I usually um, glue down with my glue runner. But small pieces, like the stars or something, I most of the time use my, um, this, mm, oh, how it's called, um, glossy accents. This strip was uh, not here well, so I did it. And now I'm going to put the love on it and this is from the Amy Tangerine uh, plus one uh, sticker of thicker set and I struggle a bit to get it down properly 
and I looked at the, the piece of paper where, where it came from to see how it flowed. I think I put it on a bit crooked, but that's okay. I didn't want it to overlap uh, the rolls of archi tape on the photo. So that's okay. I like how it looks. Now I'm taking some enamel dots for accents on my layout. So I'm putting them in on the clusters on the bottom and the top in the three colors uh, I used. And uh, most of my enamel dots are from um, my my side and the beeping noise you heard there was my dishwasher which is now finished <laughs> so putting three there and most of the time I use a big one a medium one and a small one in a cluster I think that just, just looks the nicest so No, not there, not there, yes. And I really love using enamel dots. I think they are very expensive. Most of the time they are about 5 euros in Holland uh, for a pack. And 5 euros is I think 6 or 7 dollars. I think maybe seven dollars, so that's a bit pricey, but okay, well, you get a lot of them, so that's okay. Now I'm embossing uh, a hard uh, wood veneer in the same pink uh, neon color I used earlier. And at this point, I'm not sure where I'm gonna place it, but you see me use it in a moment. Oh. <laughs> Embossing a wood veneer is better to use uh, something to keep it down. <laughs> so I took my craft knife and held it down. And on the wood veneer, the color of the embossing powder is much lighter, more uh, soft pink than neon pink. I don't know why that is, but it's okay. I like the look of it. So I think about using it here. But then I think, no, I need something over there, but that was too much pink. So I got back to using it in the lab. And it also breaks up the black lettering a bit, which is very... Um, prominent in the layout so I go for the love the heart in the love so here I cut off the branding strip and this is my finished layout um, so I hope you liked uh, the process of this video in real time um, it took a bit longer so I had to talk a lot <laughs> which is sometimes a bit hard for me because I don't know to don't know which words to use but that's okay and uh, Daniel Brown also challenged us to make a 4x6 card for a project life so I thought I would uh, show you the process of making the card too I'm using this um, Maggie Holmes um, cloud paper which I really like and I've been hoarding it forever I have a, like I have four sheets of it 
but I find it really hard to use as, as a whole piece of uh, like on the background or something. So most of the time I cut it up into smaller pieces. I'm using a Project Life card to get the, the size right because I'm really terrible with uh, the cutting machine and, and, and uh, measuring it from there. So most of the time I uh, cut uh, myself with uh, scissors or use a pencil to mark where I have to cut. And 9 out of 10 times is it's still crooked, but that's okay. And that's the card I'm going to use. I rounded the corners, but added that, that out because it's the corner round and didn't work properly. So, <laughs> And now I'm taking a doily and I'm going for this larger one. And uh, to match a little bit with my layout, I'm using uh, again uh, some strips of paper to put on the card again with uh, mint pink and uh, yellow and I cut a strip of the I'm looking for a yellow strip here but I don't have one so I take that um, yellow uh, polka dot uh, paper and cutting a strip off so I'm again fiddling a while around with the papers no, I want that on the bottom <laughs> and now I finally get to use this um, vellum uh, butterfly which I pull out like uh, five times in a row to use on something but never did then I realized uh, the card has some nice uh, pink and mint on the top like a gradient but um, if I had it, have it the right way you won't see it so I put it upside down to show it and uh, when the doily is on you can't really see uh, the card is upside down so I don't really think that that matters uh, here I'm using some Heidi Swap uh, shine spray spray paint in gold I'm just spreading that around and heating it with my heat gun to speed up uh, the drying process And I always um, heat the front and the back because it warps a bit the paper and when you heat it uh, on the back it flats it goes a bit flat back again so that's better Where's my glue? There it is. Now pulling down the doily. And it, you can see, you don't really see the card is uh, upside down. At least I think so. <laughs> and cutting the excess off. Uh, 
I like to cut it off right away so you can see how it will look. Now I'm uh, taking the strips and placing them so I get a feel of how it will look like. And I want the, uh, the pink on the bottom of the card because the um, butterfly is pink. And when you put it over uh, on top of each other, you don't really see it. So put the pink on the back and the other colors on top. So the butterfly stands out a bit more. And again, cutting that off to see how it will look. And uh, I'm going to send this card to Danielle. So she can use it as a title card or something for her project life. I believe she's going to make a book out of it. I think. Yeah, well, that's okay. So here's... Uh, nice thing i learned to uh, do with your washi uh, you can cut it in half with your paper trimmer so uh, if you want a smaller strip of the washi you want to use you just put it down on your paper trimmer here i just cut it in half so and it works perfect and the other strip you can use or you can throw it away most of the time i keep it on the paper trimmer and here I have a smaller strip of the pink uh, washi. And also put down uh, a gold chevron washi tape. And I'm using some mint washi tape. Again, because I like to uh, use washi tape in three, with like always in three pieces. I don't know why, but I like the uneven number. And now I'm putting the butterfly on top. I'm using my stapler for this, my mini stapler. And I'm not a big hero with the staples. I struggle with this again. But I get it down. That's the point of it this so yes putting the winch up to give it a bit of a dimension and as a final touch I'm using a heart enamel dot well it's it isn't a dot because it's a heart but you get the point and it's a glittery so here's the end result and you can really see how it looked I really like it. I hope Daniel likes it too. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you again soon in another. Thank you very much for watching. Bye!